is so boring. If he wanted people to come over, he'd have to stretch the truth a little bit. Wolf, wolf, it's after my sheep. There's another wolf. Don't forget. Hey that kids, time. it's just about time for bed. Make sure you get ready. Okay, mom. Okay, let's go. Kids, are you ready for bed? We are ready! Oh my goodness, a new episode dropped. Oh, I'm watching this right now. Mom! Are you coming? No way she said that. Mom! I don't think she's coming. Let's ask Dad. Dad! Yeah, guys? Let's Oh my goodness, let me guess. You want me to read you a book? You got it right! Okay, fine, fine. Give me five minutes. I gotta wrap up one phone call. Aww. Okay. 2,000 years later. Is it time yet? Hey, Ivy, do I hear a joke? Yeah! What did one toy say to the other? What? What? You look flush. You're so funny. You're uh -huh. funny. What's taking that so long? I think he's still on the phone. No, that order needs to be delivered now. Yeah, we're gonna lose this client if we don't deliver this order today. Okay, work on it and then let me know. Keep me posted. I want him to read a book already. Me too. <gasps> I have a good idea. Dad, come quick. There's a spider. Wait, I'll call you back. Where's the spider? Where is it? <laughs> There's no spider, is there? Sorry, we just want you to read a bedtime story. We were waiting for so long. <sighs> I understand, but it's not okay to lie. You know, I think I have the perfect book for you. The Boy Who Cried Wolf. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a small boy who looked after the village sheep up in the summer pasture, even though he didn't always feel like it. Although the weather was nice and the sheep were easy to care for, the shepherd boy grew bored after some time. It wasn't much fun overseeing sheep that couldn't talk or play with him. Wait, wait, wait. What is it, Ivy? Why only the boy had one sheep? Well, um, it was hard times. Back to the story, Dad. Okay, where was I? I spy with my little eye something white in the sky. And it's fluffy. It's a cloud. Had you even seen a cloud before? This is so boring. The shepherd boy tried some other games next. He tried to play hide and seek, but the sheep wouldn't hide, and they wouldn't try to find them. Next, he tried playing a game of Monopoly. Wait, Monopoly was invented? Yes, Monopoly was invented, as I was saying. But that was no good either. The shepherd boy laid around all day until he came up with a brilliant idea. If he wanted people to come over, he'd have to stretch the truth a little bit. Uh. <gasps> wolf! Wolf! They're after my sheep! <laughs> Hearing the shepherd boy's call, all the villagers came running over to help, but when they got to the flock of sheep, they saw the sheep were grazing normally. A wolf? You said there's a wolf, shepherd boy? Where is it? Uh, they look fine to me. Well, look at that, the wolf ran away. Hmm. The shepherd boy's young friend believed him, but the other villagers weren't so trusting. It didn't make sense that the sheep weren't at least shaken up. Okay, I'll stay with you to keep the wolf away. Really? Of course. Are you sure there's a wolf? You're not playing with me, are you? Huffing, the villagers returned to their chores in the village. The shepherd's friend, however, stayed with him, and the two had a lot of fun. It's your turn, Ivy. Go. Two. The friend left and returned home. The young shepherd thought about what he'd done and thought it was all worth it because it turned out to be a great day. Wait, 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 wait. What? It wasn't the little boy's fault. Yeah, he was lonely. I would have done the same thing. Yeah, that's true, but it's not okay to lie. Okay, keep reading. But the next day, things were boring again. He was stuck with his boring sheep that did little more than graze the grass. Ah. And that's when the shepherd came up with another idea. Whoa, whoa. 
It's after my sheep! There's another wolf! And once again, the villagers came rushing in to help. But there was no wolf in sight. I don't see a wolf. Oh, it was just here. But now the villagers were suspicious. Don't cry, wolf, if there's no wolf. We have a lot of things to do, and this is getting ridiculous. The boy's villager friend was uncertain. Now she was beginning to believe what the other villagers did, that her friend was making it all up. Oh, maybe you will stay again? I'll stay again, but this is the last time. The shepherd boy was overjoyed, and so the two hung out again for the rest of the day, and the sheep were undisturbed as usual. The next boring day, the shepherd boy took a nap in the grass, but later he woke to a growling sound. When he came to, he saw a real wolf prowling the fields and looking straight at his sheep. Just like it was yesterday and the day before. No, I'm telling the truth this time. I don't believe you. The shepherd looked to his friend, but she also didn't believe him. I'm not doing it either. Distraught, the shepherd boy ran back to his flock to try to save them. But by the time he got back, all the sheep had disappeared. <laughs> Later, at sunset, the villagers began to wonder why the shepherd boy hadn't returned with the sheep. They walked over and saw for themselves that the boy was all alone in the pasture. Where's the sheep? I told you, there was a wolf. Now my sheep are gone. So you were telling the truth? Yes, why didn't you not come? This is why you can't lie, shepherd boy. Because when you actually need help, no one believes you. And so the shepherd boy learned a valuable lesson that day. The villagers agreed to help him look for his sheep in the morning, and the boy never cried wolf again. It makes sense now. What does? When we call spider, that was like the boy calling wolf. That's right. We shouldn't lie, we should always tell the truth. Did you guys like the story? Bring us another one, Dad. Yeah, one more! Don't worry, kids. I have many more stories to share with you. Don't forget. Hey, guys, like check out our podcast. Live and Lewis Story. And check out our merch at liveandlewisshop.com. And remember, you're perfect just the way you are.